So this case that we have is a 77-year-old gentleman with um, hepatocellular carcinoma and extrahepatic involvement. So he has a history of alcohol use and is still drinking three to four alcoholic drinks a day and presented to his primary care doctor with abdominal pain and a 10-pound weight loss. He does have some fatigue, but his performance status is normal and he's got good liver function with no decompensation, child's pew A cirrhotic. On imaging, he was found to have hepatocellular carcinoma in his liver, a four and a half centimeter lesion with arterial, uh, arterial enhancement, portal venous washout, and a pseudocapsule, so a LIRADS-5 lesion. And then he also has what looks like a metastatic lesion to his iliac crest. His chest CT was clear, his weight was 72 kilos, so he was a BCLC-C hepatocellular carcinoma. So then he was started on lenvatinib, 12 milligrams a day. When he started it, he had some an initial weight loss and went sent, was sent to nutritional therapy to help with his appetite. Um, and he did have a partial response at 16 weeks of imaging. Unfortunately, after eight months of treatment, the therapy was discontinued because he had progressive disease. For this initial case that we're talking about, this is a pretty standard presentation for patients with hepatocellular carcinoma. Unfortunately, a lot of patients who have underlying cirrhosis, especially those who aren't decompensated, may not even know that they have cirrhosis and liver disease, and they present with symptoms from liver cancer, and by the time they're diagnosed with symptoms, already have some, uh, advanced disease, like this gentleman with metastatic disease. Now, he does have excellent liver function, so that does give us some options because he's able to tolerate the systemic treatments that we have available for us. When I'm seeing a patient for the first time with liver cancer, many times the initial imaging studies were done in an emergency room or through their primary care doctor, and they may not have had multi-phase imaging, meaning arterial phase of the liver, portal venous phase of the liver, as well as washout of the liver. So oftentimes we have to get more advanced imaging so that we really can uh, identify all of the different pieces in the liver that they may have because they, you can have lesions in the liver that are hidden on just a single phase imaging. We then need some kind of metastatic workup. I usually do a chest CT and a nuclear medicine bone scan as my uh, initial metastatic workup. Sometimes we'll do a PET scan, although PET is really not very sensitive for HCC and so that's not a standard uh, imaging test that we'll often do. With patients with advanced liver cancer and metastatic liver cancer, I, I always tell my patients liver cancer is a little different than other cancers because especially in the United States, over 90% of it happens in people who have underlying liver disease. So when we're thinking about the prognosis and treatment options, we have to take into account the cancer, but we also have to take into account his underlying liver disease. So the fact that he has child's pew A cirrhosis with no decompensation, gives him a, a plus as far as his prognosis. However, he does unfortunately have advanced disease with metastatic lesions. So without any treatment, his survival is probably on the order of six to 12 months.